Hey, welcome back to KNK Visual Productions. I'm Karthik, your host, and today in this video, we're gonna learn how to make an object interact with water inside Blender. That is something like this. We are gonna create water simulation without actually doing water simulation. I know it's hard to believe, but this is something we are gonna create today. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this video is going to be really quick. What all you need to do is create a plane and subdivide it so i'm gonna subdivide it into like 50 loops then create an icosphere or uv sphere whichever you want then let's scale it up and place it above the plane something like this then on your dynamic property select your sphere and select dynamic paint and make sure the type is brush and add brush then select your plane go to dynamic paint make sure it's canvas and add canvas now you can see there's two options that is frame start and end so now we can increase the end frame so i'm gonna increase it to around 500 then on the surface type change the paint into waves because water is waves right then you can increase the frame number in your timeline so i'm gonna increase it to 500 so once you are ready, select the sphere and hit play button and then move that sphere through the plate and now you can see some cool water simulation fx without actually doing water simulation so once you know how to do that you can just increase the subdivision by adding a subdivision modifier and bring that to above the dynamic property then increase the level to three and depending upon your system your computer power you, you can just subdivide it as much as you want so my system is not that powerful otherwise it will just blast so i'm just gonna place it on the level three and now you can see our water simulation is looking pretty good now you can add some textures you can add a boat or whatever you want so i'm gonna so i'm just gonna add some textures from the blender kit so let's select uh so let's search for water so let's add the water texture onto our plane and now you can see we got a beautiful water texture on our plane so i'm just gonna add a metal texture onto a spear and let's hit play button and let's see how does it look like pretty good so now you can just replace the spear with boat or any object you, you want any object literally any object which you want to make it interact with the water surface so that's it guys i hope this video was helpful this video was short and simple if you love this video make sure you subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and once again you're watching knk visual productions i'm karthik and i'm signing off see you in the next video until then take care